All right, good afternoon. Back in the home studio for a midweek Wednesday. It is your Pratt Pack. Busy day, lots of stuff to do today before we end up on the radio with a busy night after local news at 6 on KDK Radio. But whenever my friend Rick Renati is looking to promote something, I pretty much stop everything and take care of my brother from another mother. And of course, when you think of brothers from that same mother and that great community, and when it comes to music, I gotta believe the Granati brothers are truly the best that this region has ever seen. Look, our career is kind of a timeline, right? They were starting to make their move in music. I was starting to make a move in broadcasting. And we came together in the late 70s, and it was the time that they had signed with Herb Alpert's A&M Records. It was also the time that they began touring with greats like the greatest American rock band in the history of music. You know, that band from the West Coast, Van Halen. And at that time, I was playing albums on the radio. Yeah, vinyl. The format was known as album-oriented rock. And everyone was talking about this group from California with a whole lot of swag and swagger talking about Van Halen and a front man that many people believe they hadn't seen since Jim Morrison of the Doors and a guitar player that really people thought the last time was Jimi Hendrix. Well, like a comet, Eddie Van Halen burned bright and then he was gone. But I truly believe he's the greatest rock guitarist of all time. And his brother Alex, an incredible drummer, sometimes gets lost in translation when you talk about Van Halen because they had just so much combustion to them. They were just absolutely flammable. They were amazing. And look, there have been books written about them from people like David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar. But the book that is going to be released later this year that Rick wanted me to take a little bit of time and remind all of you to look for it, entitled Brothers, takes a very close look at their early life, their struggles, who they were as a family, what they overcame, and yes, more importantly, what they were able to do. And when I look back at where they were at such a young age and were able to go to the heights and pretty much have a stable existence, that is truly what family is all about. Wolfgang, of course, the son of Valerie Bertinelli, and yes, Ed Van Halen is out there doing incredible stuff. I follow him on every social media platform, and he, like father, can play a really good guitar. So his music will live on, as will those brothers in one form or another, and that great nephew and son in Wolfgang. And those stories will continue to be told because of people like me and Rick Granati and others. But this book is a must read because many families go through the same trials and tribulations. It's just that we don't play instruments and are known around the world. I think about Eddie Van Halen a lot, especially when I hear one of those very familiar riffs. Or whenever I see Rick Granati, I go back to the late 70s and Maury Speakeasy and hundreds of people there to see them, me on stage introducing them. And man, what Van Halen was doing worldwide and they were traveling with them. Special time, special memories, and this book is going to be one you're definitely going to want to get. Brothers, to be released later this year, written by the brother, Alex Van Halen. It's your Pratt Pack. Enjoy the rest of your day from the home studio in Manac.